Modern social media is flooded with the so-called testosterone biohacks from testicular tanning and drinking 8 glasses of ice water to eating 10 eggs a day or popping zinc pills and all these ideas sound provocative but when you carefully look at human physiology it tells you a very different story. In reality there's no magic shortcut to supercharging testosterone. For example the viral claim that roasting your scrotum under red light or UV sun rays will skyrocket your testosterone flatly unsupported by science. In fact experts note there's absolutely no controlled study showing testicular red light therapy or testicular tanning increasing male testosterone levels. The only studies there are are in rodents but rodent endocrine responses do not directly translate to men. Worse, excessive UV exposure in the genital area can raise cancer risk and impair fertility. So this hack is not just ineffective but potentially harmful. Another popular claim is that eating a mountain of eggs or cold shocking your groin will transform your hormones. It's true that whole eggs are rich in protein, fats, vitamin D and cholesterol. These are precursors to steroid hormones. However, controlled trials do not support dramatic gains from egg overload. In one hour city, young men who ate three whole eggs after workouts gained only a tiny extra rise in serum testosterone, close to about 2.4 nanograms per ml, compared to men who ate egg whites, which was 0.7. This difference was statistically significant but small in practical terms as it did not translate to any extra muscle. In short, eggs are nutritious but eating 10 eggs daily won't flood your blood with testosterone, not to some supra physiological level which will give you mountain sized muscles. Likewise, enduring freezing showers or ice baths won't deliver a hormone rush. In fact, short term cold exposure can transiently lower testosterone. Studies have found no consistent increase in from cold showers, a trial showed that taking a 15 degree cold plunge after a heavy squat actually blunted the normal post-workout testosterone surge which is in response to catecholamines. In practical terms, any hormonal change from a cold shower is negligible compared to the well-documented declines caused by chronic cold stress. In summary, popping pills, testicular sunlight exposure, or freezing yourself won't cheat the endocrine system. Common supplements like extra zinc or herbal concoctions, tribulus, fenugreek, etc. similarly fail to rise testosterone in eugonadal men. Eugonadal refers to a state where gonadal function your test case is normal, meaning hormone production, reproductive capability, and related physiological processes are within healthy expected range. Zinc is essential for normal T synthesis, and correcting a deficiency can restore low T. But once you have sufficient zinc levels, more zinc gives diminishing returns. Rigorous reviews of tribulus show no robust evidence that it elevates testosterone. If social media hacks are a dead end, what does move the needle on testosterone in health? The answer lies in physiology, lifestyle medicine, and first and foremost is strength training. Heavy strength training, especially multi-joint compound lifts like squats, deadlifts, bench presses, reliably trigger acute testosterone pulse and fosters long-term increase in muscle mass and longitudinally increases testosterone at a significant level. Testosterone is literally built for this. It is one of the most potent anabolic hormones and is considered a major promoter of muscle growth in response to resistance training. In other words, lifting weights is a natural way and a reliable way to engage your androgenic system. A workout session with sufficient volume and intensity causes transient spikes in free testosterone and other growth factors above resting levels which over time supports greater muscle hypertrophy. Closely tied to exercise is body composition. High body fat, especially visceral fat, is strongly associated with lower testosterone levels. Excess fat tissue expresses aromatase, an enzyme that converts testosterone to estrogen. Obesity is a state of chronic inflammation and insulin resistance, all of which suppress the HPT, your hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis. Conversely, reducing fat mass lifts the hormonal rate. In fact, systematic reviews show that weight loss through diet or bariatric surgery leads to significant rises in serum testosterone in overweight men. Even moderate reductions in BMI produce noticeable gains 
in T levels. In one recent review, interventions like calorie restricted, low carbohydrate, Mediterranean style diets all coincided with improved testosterone levels in men with obesity. These gains are mediated by better insulin levels, lower inflammation and less aromatase activity. So the solution is not a quick fix, but reducing body fat through sensible nutrition and activity. Another cornerstone is sleep and recovery. Chronic sleep loss is an endocrine disruptor. When young, healthy men were restricted to only five hours of sleep per night for a week, their daytime testosterone levels fell by 10 to 15% compared to when they were fully rested. Equivalently, this loss is roughly what one would see from a decade of aging. In contrast, getting seven to nine hours of high quality sleep every night helps maintain normal T secretion and supports overall anabolic recovery. In practice, prioritizing sleep hygiene, keeping a cool dark mood, consistent study, and avoiding late night caffeine and screens is one of the simplest hacks that could actually work to keep testosterone in a healthy range. Nutrient sufficiency is also fundamental. Micronutrients serve as cofactors for hormone synthesis. For instance, vitamin D acts like a pro-hormone. Men with deficiency often have lower testosterone and a pooled analysis of RCTs found that correcting vitamin D deficiency modestly raised total testosterone. Similarly, as noted earlier, zinc is required for normal testicular function. Supplementing zinc can improve low testosterone levels if there was a deficiency. In contrast, mega doses of vitamins or minerals beyond your needs won't push T higher if you're already sufficient. Thus, the strategy is to ensure a balanced diet or targeted supplementation if tests show deficiencies rather than chasing super high doses of individual testosterone nutrients. In short, don't expect any pill to outdo the fundamentals of whole food nutrition, vitamin D from the sun or diet and minerals at recommended levels. Stress management is another piece of the puzzle. Chronically elevated stress, a flattened cortisol curve and high cortisol levels tend to antagonize the reproductive axis. Prolonged stress dysregulates hypothalamic GnRH, which is your gonadotropin releasing hormone, which is the enzyme that prompts your pituitary to produce the precursors to actual testosterone. Practices such as mindfulness, adequate leisure, or meditation can mitigate these effects. While the precise quantitative impact of stress reduction on T levels in healthy men is less studied, it is well understood in endocrinology that cortisol and testosterone often move in the opposite direction. During periods of prolonged stress especially, thus keeping chronic stress in check through lifestyle balance, professional support, relaxation techniques, supports the hormonal milieu needed for normal testosterone production. The real takeaway in summary, the gap between social media biohacks and biological reality is large. Viral challenges like tanning your testicles or loading up on eggs may make clickable headlines, but evidence shows that only true lifestyle foundations move the needle on testosterone. Strength training, adequate sleep, healthy body composition, good nutrition are the proven pillars. These factors work through well understood physiological mechanisms, which are muscle-induced hormone responses, reduced adipose aromatization, circadian endocrine rhythms, nutrient-dependent synthesis pathways rather than mystical shortcuts. In the end, men's hormonal health is about consistent habits, not a one-off gimmick. As the research emphasizes, real gains come from evidence-based changes, not from trends that feel sensational, but lack control studies. Bottom line is there are no silver bullet hacks for testosterone. Ignore the clickbait, build muscle, lose excess fat, sleep well, eat nutrient dense foods and manage stress. Those are true hacks validated by science. That's where the real science comes.